Hey there, Bridge family, it's Pastor Jeff. And today I'd like to talk to you about a little three letter word that has a huge, huge impact both in the scriptures and I pray in our lives. The word is for, F-O-R. We see it in the opening of Matthew chapter three when John the Baptist declares, repent for, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. I'd like to ask you to think about this little word for and do it in a broader context. Here's a question that I want to leave with you and I pray inspire you to think and to pray and I pray it will help you to read your Bibles better. The question is this, what are God's fours for? What are God's Fours, four. Many of you have heard, no doubt, that when you come into the Bible and you read the word therefore, to ask yourself, what is the therefore, therefore? And in so doing, it'll help you to better grasp the context of the passage. Understanding the therefore will help you understand the answer to the question, why is what is about to be said being said. Well, the words for in the Bible, when you read for, it's like God is saying to you, pay attention, I'm about to say something very important. Pay attention, I'm about to give you an explanation. I'm about to clarify something. I'm about to give you consequence or blessing. In either case, Every time we read the word for in the Bible, it's God's way of drawing our attention to something that is definitive, something very intentional. And when you understand that we are blessed every single time that God shares with us his word, every syllable is a blessing for us to receive, how much more so when God himself is letting you know that what is about to be said is very important for a number of reasons. I pray that every time you read the word for in the Bible, going forward from here, that you'll stop and you'll ask yourself, what is this for here for? What is the point that God wants me to get? Again, I pray this will bless you and help to build you up to the glory of God. Amen and amen.